Una domanda sui mercati affari di prezioni di borsa, il quotidiano prezioni di borsa. Una domanda per Jane Campion ma anche per i produttori. Eh, Lezioni di piano è stato un film con una grande alchimia, è incredibile tra diciamo, le immagini e la musica. Questo certo non era un film sulla musica, ma magari ci potete spiegare qualcosa di più sulla colonna sonora. We were lucky enough to work with Johnny Greenwood, the British uh, composer and um, artist from Radiohead on the score. And um, Johnny read the first draft of the script and fell in love with it and immediately started responding uh, with ideas to, to Jane about, um, about how he wanted to use the instrumentation uh, in the score to match the characters. And I think Jane and I both felt that he actually created in the score um, a character of the music itself. So there's some really original work that he's done with the way in which, for example, the strings, he uses cellos um, and plays them as though they're a banjo or with a, with a piano where there's an atonal piano quality which mirrors um, Rose's descent through the alcohol. Um, which I think were beautiful touches and then a, a beautiful hornscape which you see those French horns being um, emotionally echoing the landscape and a haunting quality. And I think the relationship that Jane and Johnny managed to form through this um, COVID time was extraordinary because they worked remotely but very intimately and um, it was very powerful. Yes, I mean... Johnny Greenwood, you have to describe Billy. He is a genius, that's just really the truth. And when you um, receive his emails, it's so um, extraordinarily invigorating because he's so enthusiastic and so um, excited about instrumentation and what we could use and what would this be, and I barely know the instrument, so I'm going like, yeah, sounds amazing. <laughs> Don't limit yourself. But he also is so willing to explore um, any extra things that you might want to do, like if we, we were always searching for the right feeling for the sacred place when Phil is with himself remembering, um, with the scarf that he keeps in his groin, um, remembering Bronco Henry. And um, Johnny's music also does have that yearning thing that's always trying to find that top moment, stretching for it. And I, I, really, I really love that, and I really love how music in that way um, reminds us of, you know, how in life that's what we really want is those moments that um, pull us, stretch us up um, emotionally and intellectually together and also sensually. Um, and, you know, it, it was exciting trying to find it and, you know, between us all and, you know, his humility mm -hmm. is, it, this is extraordinary as well. I mean, he's just like, hardly be bothered talking with us. He can just can't wait to get back and try some more things. And, you know, he's incredibly shy, and I'm shy too, you know, when I talk about this stuff. So it was a bit funny, but <laughs> now we can't wait to meet each other, and I think we're going to finally meet each other in London and have a Bellini that we can't have here. 